welcome to another episode of Moonbreaker. In today's episode, we are actually live. So this is going to be a live stream of me painting my beginning of the competition entry. We might do a few games in between or see what people in chat want. But essentially, we're going to be mostly focusing on the painting today, maybe listening to some of the audio dramas and just having a pretty chilled out time. So if this is something you like, make sure you hit the likes, or so make sure you hit the like button. Please do subscribe to the channel. It makes a huge difference. It really does sort of encourage me to keep on going. And other than that, let's just jump into it. So we're looking at the collection and there's a few units that I want to consider as to what to do potentially as a... Uh, as a sort of a holiday entry and I'm really stuck between what to pick the one I've so far got is Zax so I've done a little like test paint job here and I kind of like this so I've got the idea of maybe making Zax and Slopper into uh, basically Santa and Rudolph which is obviously the pretty standard thing here but trying to paint things in a way that come across a little bit differently so for instance this here with the mines I wanted to paint this like wrapping paper, so gift wrapping. And I'm going to turn that little logo somehow potentially into a little bow or some ribbon or something like that. And then obviously paint Z uh, Slopper itself like a little reindeer, so like a reindeer kangaroo thing. I was trying to figure out what to make potentially glow, so we could go for like a glowing red eye. Or we could go for something like, you know, the glowing antenna over here and have that be like the tracking device that keeps things uh, you know, keeps things on uh, on target. You know, so obviously, like the whole lore is that you know, uh, Rudolph uses his red nose to guide three people through there. I don't mind the idea of making this a red antenna with like a glowing bauble, and you know, maybe having Slopper guide through more technologically advanced means. So, I'm just going to quickly change the scene. There we go. So, I've been told by people that this is the uh, the best location for my head for painting, so we can see all the brushes. I am going to be changing the opacity a bit, but I think in the top corner it just Sometimes I do have things up there that I'd like to see. Uh, one of the things I was looking at changing as well was maybe doing the... Uh, so this tape and things on here is maybe making that look like ribbon and things like that. And so we've got obviously things in the back here. We can try and make those look fairly festive. I think this is a good start. So this is by no means the colour scheme I want to go with. But I mean, so I think like it's similar to it, but I think the red is a bit too vibrant. So we're going to have to mix a darker red or try something like this. So... I think we just get started. So first I'm going to just try this darker red. I mean that immediately looks better. That's a much nicer red for what we're trying to do here. So I'm going to, I think, stick with this. And pop this all into place. I am aware this isn't also the best time to stream for a lot of people, so it might be awkward for them to tune in, but I think that's a great colour there. So we've got obviously a bit of spillage there, but it's not the end of the world. And then with this, I've already gone for like the haze, but I think maybe even like less pure of a white again. Look a bit better. So it's going to need some sort of dry brushing and that sort of thing. We're not going to be just sort of sticking with this. We might even probably go over and stipple a sort of soot effect. Hello to whoever of you is. Welcome to the stream. You are catching up with me just making the very first steps into our holiday painting competition entry of uh, making Zach's Jakar look like Santa with a reindeer possibly throwing uh, mine explosive gifts at people because I believe I can't remember which one it is but one of these mines here whichever you paint it as actually shows up in the in-game model for the mines as well so I'm kind of hoping it's this one so we can just put some detail on it but if not we'll put it on one of these down here I'm probably not going to stick with this but I want it to look like wrapping paper so for now I'm just going to go over and do some sort of base colours and that sort of thing. I'm going to be maybe even alt tabbing a little bit to find some like reindeer skin colours and that sort of thing which is not something I ever thought I'd be doing. Like to me this looks somewhat reindeery. So let's just cover some of Slopper in this to begin with and see what happens from here. Okay, get a nice bit of, sort of reindeer colour. It might need, be that we need to go lighter, but I think that might happen when we get the uh, the dry brush going as well. So, uh, with this, I actually think I'm going to try. In fact, I'm going to do the same colour here, but I might dry brush it and wash it differently to make this stand out a little in terms of colour. Because I think uh, we do want the sort of the top and the bottom to be differentiated slightly. We don't want this to be just like a a quick little, you know slap some paint on, call it a day job. We actually want to put some time and effort into this because this is going to be our, yeah, our second attempt at a competition entry. 
We need to decide what's going to be dribbling out the slopper's mouth as well, so, you know, do we make it eggnog? Do we make it like a mulled wine colour, but that's going to look a little bit like red, like blood? Got plenty of options there. Like anything festive whatsoever, we could have it like icing, we could make it gravy. We could make this a giant stuffing ball and have gravy dripping out, which would be quite fun. I do think these things should maybe be like food related or something in his hands, or even just actually just decorations. We did always say about going for the glow. I think this was the reddest one we had, so. Or is it maybe this one? Actually, that's more pink. It's not as red as I'd like it to be. So, what if we airbrushed it with the bright red? Like the really bright red, but did like a lower opacity. And just sort of. Yeah, it's hard to get that to look like it's glowing quite as much. But this could be a, a good little colour scheme. Like, if this is our equivalent of Rudolph's nose here, is like a glowing antenna, I think that's kind of entertaining. But we really do need to make sure that stands out when we come to finishing it off. I mean, we could just go for just painting it a really bright red for now. And then maybe do like a dry brush with some glowing paint. So maybe a little bit less opacity, keep the colour there. We'll figure that out, but something along those lines could be quite interesting for like a glowing pattern. So I think this is a good starting point. Like we're just sort of blocking out general ideas for colours at the moment. What about this as ribbon? So. I think ribbon we probably right, I'll do that. Probably want to try something like pink or blue for the ribbon. Uh, in fact, let's go for like a dark blue to begin with. I feel like that could look quite nice. Is that dark? That's quite a nice blue. Let's go with that. And then what I'm gonna do, which is gonna make me feel like an utter madman, is I want to draw in some stitching onto it. To make it look like real ribbon. So Go for the haze, go for paint, go for a very small brush. Okay, so maybe like that sort of size. The question is, when zoomed out, will this look like ribbon? Is it too big? I'm not entirely sure. Let's just draw a few little bits on. It's awkward because you can see pixel by pixel here. It's you know, it's actually going to be not that straight. But if we go in here, for, you know, that does look a bit like ribbon, but maybe not as much as we wanted. Oh, maybe just undid something we wanted to redo there. Let's leave that. For, like I like the idea of that. I want to make all of this look either like gift wrapped or something like that. So he's got like a wrapped up gun. And then it's interesting to decide what to do. So, how do we make this festive? So, we could go for like glittery. Glittery is always quite festive. So, what if we did like. What if we coloured this like tree colours? So, if we went for like backfire on the rod, and I went for like a greeny colour. Let's try like the serpent moon. Is that. It's so sort of reasonably Christmassy, maybe slightly lighter. What about Crop Jane? That's kind of Christmassy, and then maybe like a Serpent Moon dry brush. That's a nice little festive color com color combination there. I think it's done quite well. Just make sure we get. There we go. So maybe make this like a miniature tree. And go for those sort of like festive colors in there. We could actually maybe even like draw on some decorations or even put some like little glowing things on there. I saw someone saying that you could put like metallic paints on things as a stipple effect to make it look like stars. We also have got the option of going for. Oh, zoomed in too much. Say if we did go for like a bright red eye instead of a red. Uh, instead of a red um, antenna thing over here, we could do both. What if we made this the pupil?
and then go back to red again in the middle. I mean, that could be our Rudolph's glowing red, terrifying Eye of Doom with Slopper there. Maybe not the most festive. I feel like that belongs more in like a violent Christmas film than actually a real one. Uh, let's see if we can make this sort of thing eggnoggy coloured for here. So what cream? Like maybe like Sunside. Let's just. Yeah, that's pretty nice. It's a good colour. Now the question is, do we do these as baked goods or decorations? Let's try them just going with metallic first. So with the metallics, we don't have too many different colours. So like the blue is going to be the standard. You know, this is a metallic paint, but a colour. Because the others are all like, is this a greenish sort of thing or is it not? This is where being colourblind doesn't help. So not so much that. So let's see what happens if we do these blue. Because this is the same as the. Uh, same as the bombs, and maybe we actually just wrap these up like gifts as well. So I think this could be a, a viable option here. So if we have these as gifts, before we had gold on the sort of sticky out bit, so what if we did, say, silver, wherever the other... Oh, interesting, we've got robotic lead and steel. Well, let's just do steel on these. To make it look like, you know, there is still some danger hanging out of it. It's not just been, uh, yeah. Ooh, that wasn't what I realised. There we go. So this way it still looks dangerous. We actually do need to figure out what colour we're going to do in the middle of those then. Let's, let's do them bright gold, because we're going to be doing gold wrapping on it anyway. And probably something to dull it down a little. Yeah. So then what we want to do is go in close and we're going to start a smaller brush just doing our gold wrapping lines around it. So if we do it like this, we will be able to continue this on over the other side with a little bit of careful alignment. So is that? Yeah, I'm not as big a fan of that as I am this, and I like the fact I did this with the dry brush, so it didn't pick up as much, and it also had further apart lines. So let's go slightly bigger lines. And just draw them on like this. Makes it look more. In my opinion, this looks more textured, and obviously it's because it is highlighting certain parts of the texture, but. I quite like that effect. Just finding a way to make this stand out versus the other entries, because I'm sure there'll be a couple of other Santa based entries into this competition. I'd be honestly somewhat disappointed if I didn't get to see someone doing this but better. See, so that was a bit much and not quite the right angle, I don't think so. There we go, let's move along here. Again, I'm not getting the angle right on this. I think I need to stay lower. Does that look right? I mean, I suppose everything's turning in slightly, but... So, maybe that looks like it should go from, like, here? That looks better. I think I was just trying to go towards the middle rather than actually looking at where it should have been going. This looks out of place. Oops. I think I went one step too far back there. Hopefully I haven't just lost a bunch of stuff. I think I've just went so far back it's just loading a previous state, that's all. Okay, we haven't lost much, we've only gone back to here. So, where do we go from here? Oh, so we've got a general idea from this, but I don't know if I like this idea of the, the wrapping paper. So, 
I might just think of what other designs we could do for wrapping paper just while we get on with some other stuff. I quite like this being our little tree design here. And what I want to do actually is I want to put some tinsel on it. So I'm going to put like a spiral effect stipple on here. So if you make the brush a little smaller, as in you start it like here. Does that look almost tinsely or is it not obvious enough? It's not really obvious. What about gold again? There we go, that's like tinsel. So if we do this as like our tinsel effect on here, we can do some baubles in a moment. One more down here and then we can carry on to the next section a bit more freehand. Yeah, this is starting to look tinselly and Christmassy. So, similar sort of gaps about here. The question is, do I think this looks better than that? I actually think I do. So let's just zoom out and do it slightly lighter. like three runs over at this seems to work well. Maybe a little more down there. So yeah, maybe three or four runs over makes it look quite nice. This looks Christmassy. Oh, I think this is coming along well. Hopefully, uh, if anyone's watching this, you're enjoying this as well, because I think this is quite a nice little idea here. So we've got like a Christmas tree built in the side of him. We're gonna have a. Uh... In fact, we need to stay. Yeah, we need to stay zoomed out. So if we do that for tinsel, we can draw in some baubles on this as well. So we need to do the other side. So it's probably about here we want to be. That was a bit much. Not lined up very nicely. Let's line up the next ones properly. Okay, so that's this one here. Again, a bit too thick on that. Nice, and where was the next one? From here. Okay. Hello, welcome to our next viewer. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully, you're going to enjoy my uh, terrible artistic talents as I try and make Zax and Slopper into uh, Santa, Rudolph, and presents. It's going to be my uh, attempt for the painting competition. Hey, nice to see you. Yeah, it's going pretty well, thanks. Just wanted to chill out for a little bit and. Uh, Try and make a nice little festive paint job on here. I'm gonna go for the. Uh, I'm just going for making basically Slopper's robotic ear into an artificial Christmas tree at the moment. And uh, hopefully, I'm trying to decide between going for the terrifying laser eye for Rudolph's nose or going for. Because it's supposed to guide the sleigh, I kind of like the idea of an antenna doing it, which I think would be quite funny. So, deciding between the two would also need to make it look. Uh, nice and bright. How's it going with you? Yeah, I hope you're all well as well. Hey, I'm trying to make this look like a gift and maybe wrap these up as gifts as well. I think I might go for like white and red stripes on those for gifts. And just like find something a little bit more obvious that it's meant to be gift wrap rather than that. Uh, I'm going to try and wrap up Zax's gun mostly, so this is going to be ribbon that we're going to go for as well. I have that there. I'm almost tempted. I haven't said this out loud yet actually. To 
try and make Zax's sort of under layer here, his like vest and the trousers that are underneath the chaps and things. I'm really tempted to try and make those into like a Christmas jumper or like Christmas pajamas or something like that, and just have that be hidden behind Zax's, uh, you know, proper Santa outfit, having wearing like a Christmas pajamas or something underneath. So I might do that with a little pattern of Christmas trees or something on it. Uh, the other option as well. <laughs> yeah, I think they're fun ideas. I don't know how well I'm going to be able to implement them because I'm not very good at this sort of thing. Uh, the other thing I thought was maybe wrapping up these, but turning the bombs into Christmas puddings. So I thought that could actually be quite fun, and then we could have it look like Sloppers eating the Christmas pudding, and having this be like the icing or brandy butter flowing off of the top. So I think that's actually going to be my next change because uh, I did this yesterday as like a little test. Uh, the only thing I did yesterday was that, and then some of the like picking out which colours would be which things on Zax, and even then I hadn't decided I was definitely doing Zax, so hopefully going to be changing that up. In fact, let's just go... I, I'm very sort of flitty when I choose things, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this ear... Oh, missed a spot there. I'm going to finish this ear first. <laughs> that was a great idea, jailbreaking presents. I was considering doing uh, Jailbreakers the Grinch until uh, I realised that that would be... Uh, copyrighted property so can't do that that would have been my option though is uh, jailbreaking the Grinch would have been hilarious oh no we've messed up a bit here right which greens was it let's just colour that in there we go yeah because jailbreak is a I think jailbreak is actually a really good choice for Christmas related things because he's just got such a great looking like character model. It feels like there's a lot you could do with it. I don't like how that's come out. That's too far that way, so let's carry on this way. But yeah, I think Jailbreak's got a really good character model for that sort of thing. I really just want to make this look like tinsel at the moment because if I can make that look like tinsel then I can stick some baubles onto Slopper's ear and have it look like a little decorated Christmas tree and have him like if only you could actually hang things off of this I would totally be having uh, bauble ear piercings on Slopper and just have him actually have like pierced ears with all the like baubles going down Plus, I haven't done a Zax and Slopper paint job yet, so I kind of wanted to do one anyway, and this has given me a perfect excuse to just mess around and have some fun doing it. Go tinsely around there. Do we have one more? Yeah, we did. That's a hard one to do because of exactly where it lies, but that will have to do. I can always come back to this later and try and neaten up a bit. And then this bottom panel we didn't actually do here. So let's just fill that in. A little bit more glitter. In fact, no, we're at, this is a Christmas tree. It needs to have a trunk. So this is going to be the trunk. We'll make this look like wood in a moment. Now the next question is, what's a good Christmas pudding colour? Is it that woody colour or is it slightly lighter? But that copper non-metallic could be quite nice. So let's just ditch this. I think it needs slightly lighter than that maybe. So let's just clear this palette. Get this and then just mix it with some of that maybe see what we can get. No, that wasn't very good at all. Actually, not too bad. So let's just do a little bit more of the darkness here. Maybe like this. That's a good Christmas puddingy shape. Now what we could do is we could actually do it sideways so that this is where all the icing is on this colour. So we were originally going to just sort of put this sort of thing as the uh, the icing. So what if we just try to do a little like 
crown of icing all the way around it like you would on a real Christmas pudding and then have some of it like dripping down okay not sure about the drip but let's just colour this in first and see what we think first of all that colour is awful I want it to be more creamy looking than that but not as bright as that so let's go with let's try this that's a much better colour what I want to do is keep it fairly fluid around the top. To be honest, I think I'm going to want to make it bigger than that, but for now we'll just fit it in and see. Yeah, it's definitely definitely going to want to be bigger than this. But making this like a Christmas pudding and maybe putting like make drawing this as like a little sprig of holly could be good. So let's go extend this. And for that reason, we could also just colour this in the same colour to make it look like he's dribbling the same thing, because that's the point. Okay, so now what we're going to do is I need to open up another screen with some references on there, some reference materials. So I'm just going to quickly open up a browser, pop it across over here. Close down everything irrelevant and go Christmas pudding. Okay, back to Moonbroker. In fact, let's just split that of OBS 50 50 on the screen. Oh, it's funny, it's come up with some great little, uh, like, cartoony ones. I'm like, we've actually got a little uh, stuffed toy, like a plushie of it somewhere. Right, so we need to make this look more drippy. And so some down here. Like I don't want it to just look like clouds as a thing, but this is starting to... Oh, went over as a... I forgot to hold shift there. Carry on with the slightly uneven, we don't want it to look too neat. Fill the gaps in as we go. There we go, that's looking a bit Christmas pudding y. And then what we want to do is on this bit around here, we should probably just stipple it with a black. Make it look a little bit more textured because traditional Christmas pudding should have raisins in it. That actually looks pretty good. Like, it's weird because you can't tell hugely that the black is there. Well, I can't, I'm colorblind, but it does make a difference. So, we have got the Christmas pudding texture kind of thing going on here. Now, because traditionally people put holly onto Christmas puddings, I don't know why, but it's always in every picture you ever see. I've not seen a single person ever eat some holly. That would be absurd. We need a bit of a green. Where was that green? I saw this. Maybe like this could be quite a nice sort of holly colour. We don't want stipple, we just want paint. So maybe we can turn those into holly with like a a red for the berry in there or even just like that I don't hate that as a sort of a as a design you know what I do want to do actually is just extend this down slightly to make it clear that this is the same bits that's that he's dribbling out and maybe like over here as well just so it's all connected there Cause if it doesn't do that it's not gonna look like it's the same thing, it looks a bit disjointed, whereas this, I think, does look Christmas pudding -y. It does make me think that maybe we need to just remove some of this and come back to it in a moment and make it like a little bit more rounded again. But I think if we're doing it that way around, we can afford to have it slightly higher at the top so you can see more of the brown. That will still make it more... 
Christmas pudding effect. I kind of like this. I think that looks like slopper eating a Christmas pudding, personally. I hope someone else does as well. It's just... I love the idea of slopper throwing Christmas puddings at people. There's like a mine. I think it's probably this mine that's the one that's actually painted. This one here, but... Yeah, it's this one here, isn't it? Because you can see as you as you pull it apart, it's going to be this one. So let's get this painted first. And let's try and actually replicate that very quickly. We'll pick that green up. Nope. I'll pick the red. Wash down on. And we just need to pick the creamy colour. And make this our very own. Let's zoom in a little, get a bit more detail. In fact, let's just. Now that is too big, so we do need to be. In fact, just shrink the brush slightly. Do this to begin with. It's going to look really bad for, for now. But we'll be filling this in in a moment. There you go. So let me just fill in these parts. I'm kind of trying to decide whether I want to actually make the individual arrows on the bombs look like. Uh, whether I want to make them look like holly or whether I'm actually happy just implying the holly with the shape of them because I kind of like that as like a you know sort of homage to the holly without actually going for it and still make it feel like Zach's I think maybe a little lower down here maybe a bit more this side as well Yeah. Oh, that last one ruined all that hard work. Seconds of hard work on there. Seconds. This is very hard when you've got no artistic talent and you're using a mouse. Although then again, I'm not convinced this is actually worse than me just doing it freehand. So, there we go. All here. I think that looks pretty Christmas puddingy. I don't want it too even, so let's go in for the stipple effect. This is going to be where we spend all of our time. Just making it look, let's get a little bit bigger. Maybe bigger again, actually. I think this is about what we want in terms of stipple depth. Awesome. Here we are. This is going well. Right, where are the angle? There we are. I knew there's some other angles we haven't got to yet. So I find that stippling tends to like break things up so they don't look as shiny sometimes, which is often a really nice effect when that's what you're going for. Still gonna have some shine to it, you're never gonna get rid of all of it, but it's still pretending to be paint after all. I think that looks like a Christmas pudding. One of the most important oh, a little bit more up here, let's go for. One of the most important questions for things like this is <laughs> I honestly I already think this looks great. 
I do think we're going to go with an, a normal eye here, not the creepy laser eye. So let's just quickly paint that in. What could we do as a, a, we could do his eye as a bauble. That's kind of creepy, but kind of fun. So what if we, someone, I suppose someone said the other day you could mix metallic paints, which I found weird, but. So does this make a sort of reddish metallic? I mean, to be honest, if we're doing a bauble, we probably just want the blue anyway. Just draw in the blue. I'm going to put a little, like, accent sparkle on it, but before we do, smaller brush. Put the little holder on it. And we want a little loop of string. So make this smaller and just do a little loop out of this. There we, right, now how do we do some sparkles on it? It's kind of creepy having his eyes all, but I'm loving the Christmas puddings. Oh, nice. That seems to have painted this one a bit as well, so we can actually make that. But let's just do that while we're here. In fact, let's just... Maybe brush it bigger. Paint all of those for that part. Put the red. Zoom in here. Paint the little red piece. Pick this up and start just fleshing out our last Christmas pud. It's hard getting the angles at this point in time. Like, I don't think this is going to matter as much because people aren't going to see this as much as I am, but I'm one of those people. I still want to get it all sorted. Make sure we colour every single detail in. Hello again to whoever's just joined us. Welcome to the stream. It may be someone coming back. It may be someone new. Either way, welcome to me trying to figure out how to paint explosives to look like delicious treats, which is literally what we're doing right now, and I promise this isn't as sinister as it sounds. We're not one of those like creepy people you hear about Halloween giving like explosives or knives to kids in their sweets. We're just trying to win a painting competition. So I actually am really happy with my last painting competition entry. I think it went really well. I don't I didn't win, but I feel like I had a good shot, which for someone with no you know, no I don't feel like I've got any artistic talent. So, you know, for me to do as well as I did, I was really impressed. So, let's see where we get to from here. Coloured in all these details. Oh, yeah, this does look a little messy. Let's clean that up. And we can just pop into our stippling. Get those Christmas puddings looking raisiny. Oh, I lost it. There we go. Probably as big a brush as we can on this. Get that stipple effect in there. Make these Christmas puddings look properly raisin filled. Slopper's hungry one as well. I way prefer that over that being a present. That looks so much better than it being a gift. This bauble's kind of creepy as an eye, but I almost kind of like it. Like, I feel like it almost needs a border somehow, or like a sheen to it. But. What if we did little like gold stars on it or something? God, this is getting weird. Oh, not stipple, paint. Thank you. 
Don't think I like that. What if we did... What would be on a bauble? We could do like a sparkly S, I guess, for slopper. We could do... What's circular that could go in the middle of a bauble as an image? Or just like a little glint? How do they do glints in the uh, in cartoons? Isn't it like... They do like a little... Box or something. And then maybe do they like... Highlight an edge or something like that? I, mean, I don't like that highlighting an edge thing, but it's not bad. You can obviously, like, remove that for now until I figure out what I actually want to do. Maybe even, like, drawing a ring around it would work, but I'll figure out something to do with the bauble in a minute. What I actually want to do for the moment is just save this, so... Also, most importantly, I need to come up with a uh, uh, a name for this that's got incredible pun level. So this is a really good start, in my opinion. This is like a, our very first sketches into it. I'm happy with the design of Christmas puddings on Slopper, but what I want to do more than anything is pop into an AI game and just make sure that the mines come out as Christmas puddings. That's the important part. If we don't get these mines to look like Christmas puddings, then what's the point? How to follow that? I mean, this is a good start as well. It already looks good. That doesn't matter what we pick. I don't like it that the mines don't show up properly with the colour and things, because we put effort into that and now... This is one thing that does bug me slightly, is when you look at the models in-game, they don't always look the same as you painted them, which is kind of sad. Because that's literally that's the whole scary. point of this, but... Motor oh, I love this. This looks great. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Let's just quickly screenshot that and uh, I'm going to have to fire up Discord just to send that in and say, you know, see what people think. I'm really glad that's worked as we wanted it to. Oh, Discord, I'm just going to a different window. Painting come. There we go. Let's put just uh, trying out my first run through for the painting competition, loving the mines, and I absolutely do love the mines. I think this is fantastic. Christmas pudding mines, brilliant. Right, so let's concede this and carry on with our painting. I did concede. Thank you, computer, for letting me know. Yeah, 10 XP. To be honest, I'll take any XP I can get. The further up the season track we get, the better. Okay, now I've actually entered that, I can actually ditch Discord. Uh, I'm going to close my browser as well. Just to make sure we don't drop any frames, because it looks like we have dropped a couple, so... Let's carry on where we left off. So we've got his ears starting to look good. We've got... We could do little stripes up here, make it look like a plant pot. In fact, let's do that. Let's go for a darker wood. That's not the darker wood at all. Maybe this is a darker wood. Yeah, that's a darker wood. Oh. So that's actually the same as one of those panels. Is that the same as... Okay, it's the same as the top panel, so we just need to steer clear of the top panel, that's fine. So we just paint this one down. Apparently it's the same as this base as well, but that, that's okay. That would make sense at least. They're at the same level, so let's just turn it over. 
Do the same on the other side. Get that all coloured in. And now I can make it look like a plant pot. So what I'm going to do is get some, uh, basically airbrush some black on it. But I want it fairly small, I want it fairly low opacity, because I want the brown to still be the uh, sort of the main look here. I'm just going to do it like this. There we go. Make it look a bit like a, a plant pot. Uh, so that, annoying enough, that is air, it is airbrushed, so that pillar will be getting in the way. Fill this in a little. There we go. Right. Do you know what I can do actually? I'm going to put on Extilia's story at the same time, so that if anyone wants to listen to it that hasn't heard it yet, we're going to work our way through the stories while we do this a little bit. I'm not sure how long I'm going to be doing this today because I do want to upload this for tonight's video as well. I just wanted to come and uh, share the experience with you guys while we have fun doing it. I think that looks pretty much like a plant pot. Yeah, it does. That looks good to me. Right, let's just make sure the audio is high enough. Okay. Yeah, that looks good. Same for the other side. What's going on? There you are, Bookie. I think I like you. Where's your brother? I haven't seen him anywhere. He's don't look quite as neat, but I do. Of course, that boy. Why can't he ever stay put? Uh, what about Granny? I know I'm zooming mama, in and out, so it's going to be different happening? widths, but it's Dante? just to get view Mother? of it. Please, mama. It's going to, I think, for what's some reason, on? I feel like less opacity works here. Mother? That works. Mother? It doesn't need to be perfect. Did she say we're under attack? Yes. Actually, maybe they should be closer okay. together. This is what the cellar is for, huh? Now, climb down. So let's just get another couple of planks in here. Dodgy! Oh, gee, I can understand. He's ten years old. He can be halfway across the moon by now. But how could Granny disappear? She can there barely walk. Don't fret for me, dear. I was only gathering some valuables. <sighs> Thank the light. There we are. Perfect. Well, so we can put some little like nail studs in here if we wanted. Actually, if we don't you for like no, dear, I said the lead. I think lead works for this, and then go for preserve us. Am I the only sensible brain in this family? Paint on this and just. And no, 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 no. There's no time now. Just get down in the cellar with Bookie, huh? I'll go look for Dochi. He's in the fields. He climbed up a. Okay, let's get these, these books. Oh. He climbed up Nails a in place. Planter back. I think he's going to hide up there. The raiders don't want those anyway. He'll be fine. Excellent. No, he's not hiding. He's going to attack the raiders and get himself killed. So all I'll the attention to detail. That's how you win these painting contests. Don't have to be good at painting. Just have to get people to like it. I love it. I actually really like this. It's come up really well. I'm going to show this to my fiance later, and she's going to be like, "Wow, you are in the festive spirit." She always seems to think that I'm not very festive, and I actually love Christmas. I really do. I'm just not one of the uh, "let's start it on the first of December" kind of people. Uh, but when it gets to Christmas, I'm like, "Yeah, I love it. Can't wait." We have a really nice time this year because we're seeing. My partner's family, well, we're spending Christmas morning together with me and my partner. In the afternoon or like early evening, we're going to go see her family. And then in the evening, we're coming back here and we're going to spend it with just the two of us doing some Christmassy things. So, like watching a nice movie or that sort of thing. This looks great. After today, we're not likely to see them for years again. So. I think what I'm going to do now is maybe just do some glowing lights on here. Like, I know I've got a lot left to do here, but I haven't figured everything out yet, so I'm just going to start working on things. I think Zack's as Santa looks great. Again, these pyjamas I want to do, so like... What if we did, like, a pale... Is pale blue really Christmassy? I could just do, a, like, a red... I don't know. So this collar is red. So we could do that in red. 
you would have made a lot of noise and so don't what else would come out as ready for you better because all of this we don't want that it was a dozen of them at least so we could do the color that was just the first ship Cholek and Shizhen and then and, and I think there was a drag a great big monster with shaggy hair and yeah, huge do this. and an axe as big as me jumped out of the ship and started running everywhere so that can be like the color of it and then these bits are going to try and be one pattern but again i'm not sure if i want it to be white maybe like a different color so not like a frosty blue but like a sort of a paler like pastel blue so think about this that could be a good pajama color maybe some pirates attacked the methodory and stole it I couldn't see everyone in it yet. But in the front, uh, there was I forgot a huge that that's the robot same, with four same legs. There. One arm was a gun and the other was a sword. So, what if we took these and do. What is it, Mama? A miniature Christmas tree on, pattern on this. What? What's wrong? What did I say? It's, um, nothing. Boys, nothing to worry about. I'm sorry. I am. Uh, so we go like. I didn't mean to scare you. It's okay. It's not good. In fact. Cool. Mother. Uh, Deathbot? I've never even heard of a death. That's because we don't talk about them. We haven't even seen one in. Well, uh, not since. Not since ten years ago. Just after you were born. That's when Dad died. Yes, it is. A Methadori Deathbot. He's a machine of pure. Well, I love I this. That's not where the story starts. How many moons are there orbiting the light? Do you know? Uh, like a million. So let's just do these then. That's right. I actually also like. Are hundreds. I like that it's sort of an outline rather than an actual pattern. Yes, that's the same size line. So the next one probably goes about here. Maybe we're one step further in than this. Zoomed in. Keep going with this. The raiders. They used cinder for ammunition, and your father kept us safe for years until one day a death bot came. There's no sense scaring them, mother. This is a bit wider, boys. I think. Boys, someone decided your father was dangerous. Nobody good, nobody important. Just what if we made these like more angled in? hold the charge for more than a few minutes and it's as likely to but we can use it and it's as likely to blow up as it is to fire if we could use it to defend ourselves we would but it's not so
starts to do one more of these stupid mud huts, I'm gonna take the boss by his stupid neck, and I'm gonna... You're gonna what? I'm gonna ring it, GD. I'm gonna twist it like I'm screwing in a headlight, and then it's gonna pop off. Then you be screwing out a headlight. Screwing off a headlight? Off isn't the opposite of in. I know, but out doesn't sound right. You're right, but also, I don't care. The point is... I think this is working all right. You used the word stupid four times. Yeah, I'm sorry if this is a, a bit of a quiet one. I'm trying to sort of focus on what I think looks right. Like, obviously I know that these aren't matched up very well, but... Again, this is fine for me. Like, I think this is a pretty reasonable uh, first attempt here. So what we do is we do about five more minutes of this, and then what I'm going to do is going to have a quick little break, and then I'll pop back in and use the next hour to carry on with this plan from here. So probably just going to be drawing Christmas trees for the next five minutes. Oh, that was awful. Let's try that again. I do think the wider bases look better on the trees. It's charged enough to put a hole in these two. Who wants it? That's the gun. Yes, it is. What a caller bluff. Okay, so because these are so mismatched and so wonky, I'm kind of thinking Do I like it? Do I want to redo it? Like I think I need to think about this a little bit more. I'm gonna start just doing something I know that I probably want to do and just like using a a darker wash. On the uh, on the hair and things like that. Too dark. And like we want it to be white, but not like flawlessly white. Because I think that's really what about dry brushing. Don't shoot anyone. Are you really Does just this after make the it gun? a little bit clearer? The fabled second cinder pistol? The butcher's been searching for that thing for ten years, lady, so yes, that is really all we're after. Yes. Well then take it and leave us alone. That's dad, sweetie. That's all we have left of him. There we go. Your father left me three things, Amor. And this gun is by far the least valuable. Ooh, what are the other two things? She's talking about the children. There we go. I think that's a good colour for the hair. The eye is obviously very intense. We'll deal with that at some point. What I'm going to probably do is also look up. Uh, there was someone called Robobin who, uh, Robobin, however it's pronounced, who did a lot of Moonbreaker at the beginning, and they've got some amazing painting content. So I think I want to go and have a look at that as well. I do like the idea of this being like the beacon, and, like Rudolph's beacon here. So like. I want to change this to sort of make that more obvious. So if we make like oh, wrong wash again. Oops. If we go fully metal on this front, make it obvious that this is a uh, a bit different. This is well. I was thinking, is that the same thing? So we need to like separate it. We don't work for him. He okay. chased us here. Followed the butcher across half the reaches. Maybe for like bronze up this part. Stay quiet. Maybe it'll be. I really do want this to glow a little, so what I might do is actually just on each side of it, I might airbrush some of the, uh, the glowing colour. So just reduce it to a bit smaller. And prepare to face your fate. Mom, give me the gun. So just do that on each no, side. Serious. That's all they want, right? If we keep it here, we die. But if I can get it out of the house, you won't be safe. It's too dangerous. There's a gap in the wall. I, I think that's a bit obvious, but what I'm doing. I can hear you. You want the gun? It's yours. I don't want. What if we do? And she doesn't want it at all. There's no reason for anyone to shoot anyone This and then just. Lines down the sides. I don't know why, but I get the feeling this might look it make it look glowing. But I thought for a moment that maybe your rear facing armor might be worse than your front facing armor. It is not. Which definitely sucks. I mean, not for mm. you, obviously, but like for all the people answering the distress call that I clicked like a minute ago. You will suffer for your insult. Maybe just this. Take him down. So it's got a glowing nose now. 
So I think this is going to be my uh, my stopping point in terms of uh, YouTube content here. So if you've enjoyed this, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'm really enjoying this uh, the idea for the painting competition. I'll try and work my way through it. And I'm going to go and grab myself a hot drink in terms of stream viewers. I'll be back shortly, and hopefully then we can pick up our, uh, our little painting contest. See that there? That's what I need to draw on the board with. A little, okay, I'm going to do that before I forget. Like a little silvery crescent. So if we make that... It's kind of like... That wasn't it. Defensive field deactivated. The smugglers have escaped. Please, we have nothing left. There is no need to kill that us. That kind of works. What Why we... would I kill you? You're a death bot. Why are you trying to convince me to kill Double you? Up. I'm not trying to convince you. There we go. Like what you did. That's a bit better. There's a little shiny bauble there. Like it I still think we need like a pattern on it, maybe. But it's not what I do. I don't understand. Your faces are all. I think this is a great start. I also really do so love our Christmas puddings. So yeah, this is going to be the stopping point for now. I'll come back in the next one with another hot drink, and uh, we can start up again. So yeah, most importantly, have a good day.